Now we're going to talk about this uh, rather impressive clock behind us. A time-eating clock de designed and engineered by an Isle of Man inventor could become one of the most expensive clocks in the world. Dr. D Dr. John Taylor created the special dragon clock, which is three metres high and plated in 24 karat gold. Mm. And it flushes, sorry. <laughs> well, he's only ever made three. <laughs> and one is going up for sale this weekend at China's premier design event, where it could apparently make millions, maybe down to the flashing eye. Who knows? Kelly Foran has more. This clock not only tells you the time, it has a taste for it. It claws away and eats at it. A precious timepiece, it's one of the world's most valuable clocks and could sell this weekend for three million pounds. The inventor is Dr John Taylor. I'm an inventor, so I never want to show anything that anybody's done before. All clocks are boring. All they do is tell the time. So I wanted a clock which was entertaining. So the engraving was done here in the uh, unit. It's John Taylor from the Isle of Man invented it. And how many times a day do you do this? Well, next time you make a nice cup of tea or coffee, you can thank Dr Taylor. He's the man that invented the thermostat control for the cordless kettle. We reckon that uh, the controls were used a billion times a day clicking away somewhere around the world. And it doesn't stop there. He has over 400 patents to his name. His latest is a solar cooker for third world countries. Each day his inventions are coming to life in this unit. It's a privilege to work with the chronophage and the other projects in that room and the solar cooker. Um, because you know, where else would you get the opportunity to work in so many different fields all at the same time? Inventing is such a big part of his life, he even designed his own home and all throughout are hints of one of his main successes, that pattern of his cordless kettle thermostat. He's now left for China with one of his three chronophage clocks, but with a price tag of three million, will there be many takers? He tells me he's confident it will sell. Kelly Foran, BBC Northwest Tonight, The Isle of Man.